guys and welcome it's empties day and i've upgraded my bag to a box <laughs> yeah but before we dive into my rubbish and my recycling for last month and i do apologize this video is going up late we just haven't stopped <laughs> yeah before we dive into this if you're new here hello my name is amy if you love all things beauty like our youtube family does then hit that subscribe button before you leave and come and join us we are a lovely bunch with that being said, make sure you've got the kettle on, you've pulled up a chair and let's go. And I'm laughing because I'm tapping <laughs> and it's like a drum. <laughs> so yeah, um, I picked this up on Revolution. I absolutely love it. And it means I can separate my recycling from my waste and you'll be surprised at how much waste you actually do have. Um, I'm not gonna go into this too much because it's gonna be one of my favorite videos because I absolutely love it. But yeah, you can pop the lids up and down and what's absolutely amazing is I can take the whole lid off and I can show you how much is in here and that is without my masks so yeah this month I've absolutely ploughed through a shed load so I don't want to get it all mixed up <laughs> so let's rummage through I have got the Revolution Ceramides Hydrating Cleanser I absolutely love this this has either just gone into my favourites or <laughs> it's going into my favourites next. Yeah, it depends on what way around you've seen these the two videos. Absolutely love it. It's not a foaming cleanser. It's like a gel and I rub it in between my hands and go all over the face. Um, it is very hydrating. It's not stripping. It's not oily, but it leaves an absolute gorgeous sheen. It's quite affordable. I think you can buy it in like a, a set. So you can get the moisturiser as well, which I have behind me, which I'm really enjoying too. So yeah, I've just repurchased another one. So I really do like it. It's fragrance free. It's non-communogenic. It's hypoallergenic. It's packed full of ceramides and hyaluronic acid. Now my skin doesn't like hyaluronic acid, but it likes what's in this. So yeah, um, really, really like that one. I have got the Bubble Tea Peony and Cherry Blossom Restoring Shower Gel. Didn't like this at all. It's very gloopy, really, really gloopy. Not very nice and it's way too sweet. It didn't really smell like peony and uh, cherry blossom. It wasn't very floral. It was just incredibly sweet. It cleaned my skin, um, but yeah, it didn't irritate, but I'm not going to repurchase it. Oh my God, this took forever to... Um, I do apologise. I should have said, oh my goodness. Um, this took forever to use. It's the human and kind um, mo moisturising hand scrub. It has elderflower and raspberry. And it says it's a sort of hydrating gommage. It took me that long to use it myself. I popped it next to the sink and nobody used it. <laughs> it was just me. So yeah, it's gone. It was really, really nice. I quite liked it. I just don't see the point in a hand scrub. <laughs> It's, it's yeah it's kind of like an extra step you'd wash your hands and then scrub them and rinse it off yeah um but it was nice it exfoliated didn't leave my hands feeling dry so i quite like that oh this has been a past favorite this is from ogx it's the extra strength argan oil of morocco hair mask absolutely love this i had trouble getting hold of it and then i found a pot randomly somewhere it smells absolutely gorgeous. It leaves my hair silky, smooth, not fly away and not weighed down either. Um, I've not used it today. I'm just looking at my hair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is just absolutely gorgeous. And I really do recommend it, especially if you've got dry hair. I have got the Ayumi Argan and Sandalwood shampoo and the same in conditioner. Now the shampoo like every kind of natural shampoo that I've tried, it's very drying and it made my hair feel really crispy and weird and I didn't like it. But the conditioner was absolutely gorgeous. It was like a hair mask. It was really, really nice, very hydrating, left my hair smooth, not fly away, not weighed down. It didn't look greasy. It just had, I'm just looking because I've got like a really nice sheen to my hair for some reason. It just had a really nice, left my hair with really nice, glossy kind of healthy looking sheen. So I'm going to pick up the conditioner um, in the future, but I'm going to kind of skip out on the shampoo. Really wasn't a fan. I have got another pot of my Revolution Cucumber Eye Burst. I go through one of these a month. There's one 
almost in every empties video absolutely love it pop it in the fridge it de-puffs um, it just soothes and it's just so so nice and I have really dry under eyes so I do go in with a gel before a cream yeah really really love it especially in the summer it's so cooling and soothing now this is the wishful honey whip moisturizer now the purple one of these I didn't like I think it's the peptide version this one I absolutely loved it left my skin feeling so soft and kind of hydrated but I didn't look oily like how the peptide one left me it's quite it felt it was like a heavy kind of texture but it wasn't on the skin really really nice and um, it's quite pricey so I'm not going to pick up a full size but I wouldn't be mad about getting a um another travel version <laughs> I've got another one of these. This is the Madara Shape Caffeine Cellulite Cream. I have been slathering this all over the top of my thighs and over my tummy and I absolutely love it. They now feel so soft. <laughs> yeah. Um, it hasn't gotten rid of my cellulite, but my skin feels very soft and it's firmening up, which I really, really like. When I, This is very bizarre. When you rub it into your skin, you can feel as it's drying, it's firming. So your skin appears to look smoother, although you're not actually getting rid of the cellulite itself. But I'm sure just by rubbing something into kind of the skin, especially kind of like the thigh and the tummy, you tend to be a little bit more vigorous than you would be anywhere else. I'm sure something, a movement, like kind of like a massage movement would do something to the cellulite anyway. But I really, really like it. I'm using another one. I have a backup in my drawer. So yeah, you'll be seeing more of these. This is the Aromatherapy Shower Oil in Rose. Now it doesn't really smell like Rose at all. It smells like the Signature Trilogy fragrance, which isn't rosy. It's very kind of herby. It's an incredibly strong fragrance. Now as a shower oil goes, this is more like a gel. It's really bizarre. It emulsifies, it rinses off. It doesn't really do anything. It's very, very thick. Um, as you can see, I've kind of used it up, but I won't be repurchasing it. Oh, bang. <laughs> I absolutely adored this. I've started another bottle in a different fragrance behind me. Um, I had a reaction, I think it was last month or the month before to a moisturizing gel I tried. And I ended up with a nasty rash. My skin was itchy and it was tight. It was very, very sore. This brought it back to life. My skin is now soft. It's smooth. The rash has gone. There's no scarring from where I was scratching. I was scratching so badly that my skin was bleeding. No scarring at all. Um, absolutely amazing. It has a very, very sweet coca fragrance that I'm not overly keen on that's why I've gone to a different one of the same brand but I absolutely love this this is another one of my favorites <laughs> I found some good stuff last month I was very very pleased two of my sure um, deodorants I have been trying a natural one behind me and this is going to sound really bizarre I'm using it at home and it's okay it's a bit weird because it's like a stick and but it tends to crumble everywhere which is weird but i'm too scared to wear it to work in case it doesn't work and i smell <laughs> so yeah i'm really trying to put it for its paces at home before i t try it at work um so at the moment when i'm going to work this is what i'm using i have two in this month just because i pulled an empty one out of my locker at work so yeah um i absolutely love it i've been using it for so long it doesn't let me down it is a bit powdery and it can leave marks on your clothes dark clothing so be well aware of that but yeah um i really like it this is the i think this is the glow hub it is a nourish and hydrate cleansing balm infused with peach and coconut now this had such a sickly fragrance i used it up it does need a wash it smells like peaches but it's very very sweet now, what I didn't like about this is that it doesn't emulsify. It goes on your skin. It's very oily and balmy. It strips everything off, which is fabulous. Didn't dry my skin out, but I couldn't rinse the thing off. <laughs> I had to kind of go in with a cloth, then another cleanser to try and remove the cleanser. And I don't like that. I'd, I'd, I would rather have a balm 
but it's so oily and it's just going everywhere. I'd rather have balm that will just take my makeup off, emulsify it, so it just rinses off in that kind of like a milky kind of version. And then I will just go in with a second cleanse just to make sure I've got everything away. I don't want to have to cleanse my face three times because it's so oily. So I definitely won't be repurchasing that. I have got the Elf Holy Hydration Eye Cream. This was okay. It's such a cute little pot. And um, for an eye cream, I'm not mad at the size. It's just like a sample size. Um, I got it in a set, I think. It's very thick. I put it in the fridge and it thickened up even more. It was really weird. <laughs> it probably changed the formula. But it was hydration and it was very cooling. It's just a bit boring. So I'm not going to repurchase that. This took me forever to work through. This is the Revolution Dewy Lip Sleeping Mask. Now, I think they were trying to dupe the Laneige Sleeping Mask. It was okay. It was very, very thick. I put this in the fridge as well, just because it was so cooling on the lips and I really liked it. And when I noticed my bedroom got warmer, this started to really melt. So I put it in the fridge and it just kind of thickened it up a bit, just made it a bit harder, so it was easier to use. But yeah, the only thing I didn't like about this was that after two hours, I would have a lot of kind of dry skin just stuck all to my lips that I'd have to, I'd be really tempted to bite off, which is really, really naughty, you shouldn't do. Or I'd have to scrub off or wipe off. And it was every single time I used it. And I was using it nightly. So I, I don't want to have to be scrubbing my lips every day. It's, that's not good. So yeah, it won't be repurchasing it for that reason. This I've ploughed through so fast, it's from Paradox, and it is a three-in-one condition uh, hair mask treatment. I just used it as kind of like a deep conditioning hair mask in the shower. I really liked it. The fragrance is okay. The only thing that really frustrates me is the tube. It, it's because it's metal, and as soon as you go to squeeze a bit out, you lose tons of it, like kind of like the old-fashioned toothpaste kind of thing. It would just end up everywhere, all over the sink. So if you're my age and you are your parents' child, obviously, <laughs> and you got in trouble because you spilled toothpaste all over the sink, it wasn't you, it was the metal tube. <laughs> it wasn't your fault, so you can go and tell them now. I mean, it weren't me that spilled all that toothpaste, it was the tube. So yeah, the mask itself is absolutely lovely. It leaves my hair sort of glossy, soft, silky, really shiny, absolutely love it, but it's just the packaging. I would prefer that to come in a pot, a plastic pot that I can recycle because you can recycle the tube, but you can recycle plastic pots as well. So, yeah, very frustrating that one. I've got a couple of really little bits in this side. This is the trash side that I can't recycle. I have got the Sasha Joanne hair repair. This again was really, really nice. Absolutely stunning fragrance. It was a shame I didn't get a bigger size because I worked through it incredibly fast. I bet if someone had a lot longer hair than me and a lot thicker, you probably would have used this in one go. I think I've got two uses out of it. Very silky, soft hair. I have very dry hair, so as soon as a mask goes on it, it's like, woohoo, <laughs> and it comes back to life. So yeah, I may repurchase that in the future. This is from Polar, and I used this as kind of like an overnight mask. It was a very, very thick moisturiser. It smells absolutely stunning. It reminds me of kind of like fresh linen in the outdoors. Very hydrating, but the only thing I didn't like about it is that I'd wake up in the morning and have this film of oil over my face, and I don't like that, so I won't be repurchasing that. This is from Philorga, and it is the Su Supreme Multi Correction Serum. It's absolutely tiny, look fantastic, added this in. Um, as a substitute in my beauty box, and I probably, used it over three or four days really nice very hydrating absolute timing this brand can be quite pricey so i'm not going to pick it up this is the la rouge pose and it is the eye cream sorry most of it is in french right this is a really nice eye cream sorry i'm getting serious now <laughs> it's a really nice eye cream but what annoyed me is it had a cap on the top that you had to snap so once you've opened it, it stayed open, which I really don't like because you're putting something around the eyes, anything can get in there. Bugs, 
God knows what, not like bugs as in like creepy crawlies, but you're putting stuff on your hands, it's bacteria, you're rubbing it off the top, it can go back in, you can't clean it and put a lid on it and seal it. So the air gets in it and then things start to go a bit funky and not very nice. So yeah, for that reason, I didn't like it, but it was a really, really good cream. <laughs> really, really nice, very firming. Um, I noticed that my eyes did start to look younger. Um, over time and I was using it sparingly as well because I didn't want to run out but now it's gone back to my box <laughs> oh and I'm trashing the box I have got the body shop shower cream this is in Shea this is nothing creamy it's 250 mils I absolutely love this this is my second one of these it's just different packaging it's got an absolute gorgeous masculine fragrance to it Oh, it's, I, I can't describe this, but it's it's absolutely gorgeous. It smells stunning. It's natural. It's vegan. It's cruelty free. This whole pack is recyclable. Um, it left my skin feeling so soft and that fragrance just kind of lingered all day. And I was like, oh, I can kind of smell myself. I like it. So, yeah, absolutely loved it. This is from Dirty Works and it's the Soak It Up Coconut Bath Soak. I've used the shower gel of this. I'm currently using the body scrub. It took me ages to work through. You don't need a lot of it. It is very sweet coconut fragrance. A friend bought me this as part of a set and yeah, really, really liked it. I don't know where I can get this here because she picked it up when she went home to Greece, but really, really enjoyable and the kids loved it as well. It's just that very nice, kind of summer coconut fragrance. Oh, this is feeling a bit greasy. This is another one of my favorites. Um, and I've repurchased this. This is from Planet Revolution and it's the coconut scented shower oil. This is recyclable, it's clean. The bottle has been recycled, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. And I absolutely loved this. You pump it out and it is actually like an oil, which is amazing. You rub it all over your skin in the shower once your skin's wet. Rub it in and it starts to emulsify and milk and it soaks into the skin. Now what I was doing was rinsing off the excess, even though it wasn't oily, but this, it was still in my skin. It was really bizarre. So I would kind of get out the shower and my skin is amazingly soft. I've used this as a um, shaving oil as well. And wow, <laughs> I, I loved it. It's convenient. Like I said, you just pump it out straight over your legs, over the razor. It doesn't clog your razor. It doesn't make it tug. It doesn't skip. Uh, you don't get razor burn either. And I got an incredibly close shave. Yeah, really, really, really enjoyed it. Can't, you know, think of that enough. Love it. I have got, this is from Treacle Moon, it's my favourite one from them and it's the Brazilian and it says we love the ocean. This bottle was made from 100% recycled ocean bound plastic. Now I have raved about this for months and months and months and months, months since I started my channel this has been a favourite. If you want to dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum, not Bum Bum, but it smells like the Bum Bum cream but it's the shower gel, I can't think what it's called. This is it. It smells identical. It works the same way. It's the same colour. Sorry, this is like kind of shower scarred now. Um, and I think it's like £2.50 a bottle. It's absolutely amazing. You can pick it up in Asco, as the Tesco's, Waitrose and on their website. And like I said, this has featured as a past favourite. I continue to buy it all of the time. I just go on to Treacle Moon and just pick up four or five bottles um, of shower gel at once and normally two of these just because it's my favourite. Absolutely love it. I have got, I finished this off today actually, this is the Gatineau and it is their hydrating toner. Now this has an absolute gorgeous fragrance. Now I wasn't using toners because of this product here, Skin and Me, um, but this one was really gentle on the skin and I was just using it in the morning. Sometimes, um, depending on how my skin was, I don't always cleanse in the morning because I can find it quite stripping, but I would go in with just a little bit of toner on a cotton pad and just go all over the face and I would find that that would give me just kind of like that little clean and hydration that I need and this was lovely, really, really nice. I'm not going to repurchase it 
because I've got a few other toners and it, I don't really use them. I'm not supposed to use them. But I really enjoyed it for what it was. I have got two Skin and Me here. I think one got left out from my box last month. So um, yeah, the video last month. So this is Dosa 5 and 6, I think. They are the doses from the video that's just gone up. Yeah, um, these stopped working. <laughs> so my prescription has now changed. So yeah, we will leave that as that because there's, there's a video to come and I'll explain everything there. This is from Jennifer Lopez and this is called One. Got this in one of our subscription boxes. It's either a glossy box or I look fantastic. I absolutely loved this. There's a tiny, oh, tiny bit in it. I put this in my locker at work and I got quite a few compliments about how I smell. And I was like, oh, this has one of the most unique smells or fragrances to it that I've ever smelled before. And I'm now really tempted to buy a full size. It's got a very kind of citrus, but it's like mandarins. And it's got an incredible masculine fragrance to it as well, like aftershave. So if you think of traditional man's aftershave, not kind of like all the new modern unisex ones, but go back about 20 years, a very traditional man's aftershave. Mix that with mandarins and kind of citrus and a hint of vanilla. And this is what you've got. It's very fresh, it's not smoky. It's just absolutely stunning. I love it. So yeah, I think I'm going to pick up a full size. It should have been in my favourites. It was just the fact that I hadn't repurchased it. So I didn't pop it as a favourite. And my last item is from uh, KVD Vegan Beauty. And it's the Go Big or Go Home. I've gone through a few of these now. I really like it. This one, unfortunately, is now dried up. The wand I really like, the formula doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't fall all over the place. It's just there, I don't look like a panda. Um, I've never purchased the full size of this just because look fantastic, uh, not look fantastic, feel unique in their beauty box subscription. You can very often pick this up more or less every other month. So when I really miss it and I fancy picking another one up, my cheapest option of getting it is just by whacking it in my box so yeah and I don't see the point in buying a whopping great big full size when I don't go for it fast enough and it's going to dry out so I'd rather go for a minute so yeah there, there's a little tip for you so that is my recycling and waste box empty for the month I have got some masks here I found some corkers this month first one girls night in um chill and glow sheet mask this is from face facts and it's vegan and it's also cruelty free this not long went up in a mask monday i absolutely loved it to the point where i'm gonna do a haul with them this mask is a pound a pound and the result i got was absolutely gorgeous so really pleased this is the simple five minute reset hydrogel water boost mask i did this as a mask monday as well i put it slip slipped and stuck together it was a very bad fit cooling i got brain freeze it flapped around the mouth i did get a glow but i was very disappointed and if you saw the video on this i really didn't like it i was very disappointed this is this folio niacinamide with black bean essence mask sheet and I put it was a good fit and very soft tons of serum that didn't drip it felt comfortable had a light fragrance it did to the skin and didn't move hydrated calmed my skin didn't look as red so it had a really nice calming kind of soothing effect on my skin which is what I like now this one is from seven sin energy and it's the collagen mask I love the packaging on this look she's now all covered in bubbles <laughs> And I put a last mask, a large mask, but very tiny eye holes. Tons of serum dripped. Had a very musty, strange fragrance. Peeled away as it dried. Subtle glow. The essence sat on top of the skin, um, and didn't absorb. And I put. I had to work hard to rub it in. So yeah, wasn't overly balled over, but I did like the packaging. This is the Glow Baby Glow Mask, brightening and soothing from Face Tory. This was also another Mask Monday. And I put, you got tons of step one, easier to rub in than dab. Step two applied well, non-slip, non-drip, very thick essence, fragrance-free, oil-based, um, 
took time to rub in but wow what a glow and i remember this one i really did like it and i like i said it was a mask monday so go and check out the playlist and you'll see it in there you're also if you've not been with me a while you'll also go and see there's a jellyfish mask really really bizarre absolutely amazing but really bizarre now this is from the seam and it's the bamboo mask and it's a thin mask but a good fit it was very wet had tons of serum skin felt soft hydrated and appeared calmer no glow and i do love reaching for these kind of masks in the summer just when you've been out in the sun you can sort of jump in the shower or the bath you've got your nice comfy pjs on or your nice cool kind of nighty pop one of these in the fridge after 10 minutes pop it on your face and you will absolutely love it now this is from Ulanol and I can never pronounce it and it's the Elasticity and Firming Mask and I've put good fit well like felt like a material which is a bit bizarre it was very very thick and really strange thick serum that didn't drip mask didn't move peeled away as it dried very subtle glow skin felt soft so overall it was okay it was just there was a couple of things that I really kind of didn't like about it and this is the aloe mask from Esfolio, and I used this very recently. I think it was before I went to work one morning. My skin was feeling just not very happy and a bit irritated. And I absolutely love aloe on the face. I grow an aloe plant and quite occasionally I'll cut kind of stem off and pop it all over the face, let it sink in then and rinse it off. It's very calming, very soothing. But if you're going to use real aloe vera <laughs> from the plant, prepare for the smell because it stinks. These work just as well. They're not organic, obviously, like a plant. They work just as well without the smell. So yeah, um, aloe, very calming, absolutely love it. And these I always put in the fridge. And like I said, with the um, bamboo mask, aloe and cucumber, my friend hates cucumber, but yeah, cucumber mask, they're the ones that I really reach for in the summer because they're just hydrating, soothing. They, especially if you've been out in the sun, they're amazing. So yeah, this one's well worth picking up. And I've just knocked all of my recycling over the floor. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. That is my empties from last month. That's quite a lot. A lot of favourites. I discovered so many really good products last month that I've had to sort of run them over two months. So yeah, there's a lot of good stuff coming next month as well. I've got my tea. <laughs> this is video number three this evening and I've got one more to go. So yes, I definitely need some tea. Um, let me know if any of these products that you use on a regular basis and uh, let me know what you think of them. So thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, lovelies, please take care. Bye-bye.